Lieutenant Adam Hayes, Journal Entry 15, July 16, 2015. It started with a black ops mission inside the United States border. There had been multiple murders inside the area where we were deployed. The police declared these incidents coincidental animal attacks, but when the feds heard of the issue, they sent in agents to investigate. The most recent attack was at a small countryside home where a suspicious family had dug out war trenches in preparation for 2012. The CIA interrogated the family and sent them on a four-week vacation to keep their mouths shut. The little boy from the family witnessed the actual attack and described this creature to be tall, covered in black goop, and a spear-like tail. His description is rough, however, because the creature is apparently nocturnal. But his overall description sounds like something from the Twilight Zone. The boy claims to feel the creature's presence constantly and hears it rustling in the woods next door. The CIA believed the creature is still in the area, and so, Seaman 2nd Class James Green, Chief Daniel Smith, and myself were sent in to scope out the place. Our little team was perfect, according to the military. They built us because they needed a small task force that was fast, skilled, and undefeatable. The original purpose of our three-man team was for hostile recon missions deep in the enemy territory. But now, our job description has changed. Where's Dan? He got dropped off about 100 yards northeast of our position. Does he have a visual on our location? Let me check in now. Long shot, long shot. This is broadsword. What's your 20? Just landed. Trying to scope out a good spot. I'll check him when I get a visual. Roger that. Okay, let's get a, let's kind of brief ourselves on this. All right, we're in this area here. Uh, Dan's right here, and we're over here. We need to establish a uh, crossfire here, be able to lure out the target and efficiently take it out. Question, how the heck are we supposed to identify a target that's only been described vaguely by a five-year-old? Okay, look, this is a simple lure and destroy mission. All we gotta do is wait for the target to come out and film full of lead. It's not really hard, so you have nothing to worry about. Roger that. Q to 20. I have a clear visual of 150 yards northeast of your position. Tell Jamie that I packed an extra razor for him. Roger that, long shot. <clears throat> we're establishing a crossfire now. Keep your eyes peeled and we're checking in 20. Long shot, come in long shot. Dan, are you there? Dan! Alright, he's not responding. Let's move out. What the hell? Eyes up! He's on the ground. He's never on the ground. Thanks for uh, getting the lamp. It's not right, man. I've seen a lot of dead bodies, but nothing like this, though. What the hell is out there? What about Dan? He was the best. Not one sniper in the rest of the world could outgun him. The only time Dan missed was when he didn't pull the trigger. And where is he now? In a body bag, like some other GI from Brooklyn. People like Dan don't just die, especially like that. All right, look. I know Dan's dead, and I know that's tough for you to accept, but we really need to calm down, especially because he's dead. As you said, he's just a great guy. We both know that, we've served with him for years. But we really need to honor his death by taking this thing down. I know it's tough, but we need to establish a crossfire. I think that's the only way we can do this. So I need you to get up there and do that for me. You mean split up? Yeah. 
But it's gonna be a lot closer this time, so maybe we won't get killed. I don't know. Hey, sorry, dude, but that's an order. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 